The first thing that I do is I put all my clips, I, I just drag them on like you saw how I did that, I just dragged it there. And then I make two folders, one for the video to store all the videos, say there's like 20 clips, you want it in a folder, otherwise it's gonna get messy. And then I just, every time I put a clip in the actual composition here like that, I drag it into the used folder okay, to okay. keep organization. And the way you open up uh, like the waveform, I don't know if you know that yet, but you just press L and then L again, you double, double press it and it opens up waveform. And then I put in my first clip. And what I do every time I'm making a montage, I just drag the clip to where the shot goes off and I, I put like this thing right on the beat drop, which is right there, and then drag it till the shot is right on point. And then I go over here, I mute the audio, and then I drag in the shoddy shot down here. And you can pull up the waveform to see like, you know, make sure it matches. Okay, yeah, it. yeah, so now it's synced. I used to be 14 in the crib. I used to be 14 in the crib trying to be a trap nigga. And then next thing I do is I look for where it's gonna transition the next beat drop. So it's right there, and I cut it. Um, so to to like remap time to do slow motion, and this is what I, I I'm doing everything in order. This is like the best way to do it I've found over the years. But yeah, so I right click on the clip that I want to change speed, and I go to enable time remapping. And then say I want it to slow down right here because I'm making an edit. I put a keyframe there and that marks the point in time. And then a keyframe right before the shot. So right there. And then I go a little bit after and I keyframe it there. This is how I usually do it. So then it's like a slow-mo before the shot and then speeds up on the shot and slow-mo after. That's like my go-to, okay? But anyways, I got these points marked in time with the keyframes. So here between these two clips, I want it to slow down. So I drag that stretch it apart so the time in there is slower now and then here I want it to speed up so I push them together and it's condensing the time between the two and then I drag this keyframe to slow it down after so it looks like this I used to be 14 in the crib trying to be a trap nigga. and then yeah so that's that and then I don't even go to effects yet I mean you could if you wanted to but I just do all the time remapping first so that it's not laggy because time remapping is the hardest thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Time remapping, effects, and transitions at the same time. And then okay. I add the like CC and motion blur at the very end. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, for I drag in the clip, and then I drag it to where I want it to be. Like where the shot is. It's right here. So I find where the beat drop is. Got me some floor seeds. Floor seeds at the game trying to Right here, so I drag it to where the shot is. It's right there. Right click, time remap, enable time remapping. And I usually just copy and paste my uh my sounds for the gunshots. Floor seeds at the Yeah. So that's synced. And then right here, this is like a better example of how I do the slow-mo. Right as the gun gets to this point. I make a keyframe because it looks so cool right, as it's being pulled out. And then like I bring it to like right here, like a little bit before the shot, and then I skip it ahead. Like say like right here when the gun comes out again. And Okay. Yeah, so then I squeeze here together because I'm speeding it up there. And then I stretch over here out because I'm slowing it down there. And then I stretch the end out because I want it slow after. So it looks like Oh yeah, and then I clip that, press U to get the keyframes back. But yeah, it's like this. Now I got me, I got me some floor seeds at the game trying to grab nigga. Now I got me some floor seeds at the game trying to go. So yeah, that's how you do the syncing. I think you got that down pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Is there? Okay. Yeah, is there? And then effects. The most important ones you're gonna want to know are glow. Glow looks clean oh, okay. as heck. Um, so how this one works, I don't touch anything except for glow threshold. 100% means there's no glow. 0% uh, means there's max glow. So 
for this, I go right before the shot. I keyframe the glow threshold at 100%. Go after the shot, I move it down to where it looks good. And then I go to the future a little bit and I put it back to 100%. So the glow is added. Another really important one is CC Light Burst. Just put Bro, it on my favorite. This is the thing I'm thinking of, yeah. Yeah, so uh, ray length is yeah. what, like, you know, adds the ray length. But then mm -hmm. intensity makes it brighter. So you can play around with that how you want. But I usually just keyframe ray length and put a path, uh, intensity around 150. But yeah, you don't want to go too high with this or else it's overwhelming. Oh, yeah. But yeah, same thing, just before shot and after shot. And then transitions, yeah. you can just do the simple fade out by pressing T and then it's at 100% and you go to zero, fades it out. But yeah, <laughs> when you're ending it, go to composition settings and say I want it to end around the 15 second mark I would change this to 15, this to zero, and then that's like the milliseconds, so I'll just leave that at 20 for some breathing space. And then you want to go to your song, uh, you press L on the song to bring up the audio levels again, and create a keyframe, and then another keyframe down here, drag it way down low so the song fades out, change the opacity, press T on the clip keyframe the opacity, go to the future, and then drag it to zero so it fades out. Oh, yeah. I used to be 14 in the crib trying to be a trap nigga. Now I got me some floor seeds at the game trying to go bad nigga. Got me feeling like Spike.